how to switch from trizepatide to ritatrutide. Now in this video, I'm going to deconstruct some of the dangers that you're placing on yourself if you are using retitrutide before it is available. This is a compound that is a beautiful triple agonist that's not yet available. And if you have access to it and you mix it with trizepatide, you could be putting a great danger on your metabolic health. And so I'm gonna deconstruct what you wanna do when retitrutide does come out, how to be prepared for it, what to look for, why the future looks so great when it comes to medical innovations. And by the end of this video, you're going to understand the timing, the physiology, why it's important for you to work with a physician who actually understands these molecules and actually doses it in the right way so that you don't put yourself in any kind of jeopardy. So I'm Reagan Archibald, I'm the founder of Ageless Future. For those of you who wanna go deeper and work with some of the best providers on the planet, in my opinion, yes, I'm biased, go to agelessfuture.com, very first step. If you're looking at the GLP-1s, if you're looking to optimize your metabolic health, your inflammation levels, if you wanna get the regenerative properties that you deserve when it comes to a meaningful future, then just go to agelessfuture.com, talk to one of our health ascension specialist will take care of you. So let's jump in. So why would you want to switch in the first place? So if you just saw the new studies that Eli Lilly released on the Triumph 4, and if you have osteoarthritis in the knees, it's got to give you a lot of excitement because they found that over 70% of participants in the study, they didn't have knee pain. The knee pain reduced substantially. And in many cases, it went away entirely. So if you think of these GLP-1s, and we saw the same with trisepatide. Actually, there's a study in the New England uh, Journal of Medicine that one of my patients, he's an anesthesiologist and he came in and Dan hands me this paper that he printed out and he said, look at this, another benefit of the GLP-1s. Because GLP-1s is working on so many different pathways. It's not just for weight loss. This is where these are metabolic makeovers. The GLP-1 is what lets your body know when you're full and that's expressed. This is why it's called an agonist. So an agonist is where you're actually agitating that receptor. You're getting more of this peptide produced when you turn on that gene. And that's all peptides do. They just create signals in the body so that you're not thinking about food all day. How miraculous is that? Because humans, you know, for the last 2 million years, we've had to really hunt for food and that's been on top of mind. Am I going to eat? Am I going to starve? Now you're more likely to die of obesity than starvation. So by turning off the noise chatter, you get some freedom. But the other thing that the GLP-1s do, they work on the kidneys, they work on the heart, they work on the brain. Even some of the studies show that there's some reversal in cognitive decline in using these. So they're very powerful. And trizepatide has got also what's called the gastroinhibitory polypeptide, which brings the sugar into the cell. So it activates that insulin pathway. So you get better GLUT4 transportation, but you also get the transmission of insulin, creating a better signal. It's just like if you shoot a bow and arrow, it just like you want that target, you wanna hit bullseye and that's what the GIP does. So the reason why people are switching is because in the studies, man, retitrutide or retatrutide is just far more robust when it comes to weight loss, but muscle preservation. The big damage that happens to the body is when you're on trizepatide, you forget to eat, you're not taking care of your lifestyle, you're just living your busy life, you're skipping meals, you're like, this is great, I'm not even hungry, therefore I'm not going to eat. You're not working with a professional team who's showing you a lifestyle that's necessary so that you don't do more damage than good in this weight loss journey. But retitrutide has glucagon in there, so it actually activates the energy expenditure in your liver. It creates more mitochondrial activities, so you have these power packs in your cells. So it's like it preserves lean muscle mass in ways that we've never seen before. But if you're switching on these, the thing you wanna remember is these GLP-1s have a very long half-life. Most of these peptides that we're using, these are short protein structures, short amino acids, and they are metabolized very quickly but the GLP-1s are the exception. Most of these GLP-1s have like a six and a half day life cycle or half-life. And so if you're stacking these together, 
then you're going to mute that signal even more and your body, you can start to develop a lot of the symptoms that's showing up in the studies. The TRIAMP4 study, the thing that disturbed me the most is the dosing. And I've been disturbed by the dosing of semaglutide, which is Mozambic, or trizepatide, which is like Majuro, Wagovi, Zepbound. But man, with retitrutide or ritatrutide, what they're seeing is in this, the cohort who was taking 12 milligrams that's where they had the most robust outcomes when it comes to weight loss, but the amount of side effects was breathtaking. It was like, wow, why are we dosing it like this? And here's the problem with the medical complex. It's a factory. And so if you're thinking about getting a dose that's just based on the studies, not personalized to your biology is different than everybody in the cohorts. And the cohorts, I mean, in the scientific groups, the people who signed up to participate in these clinical trials, your biology is different. That's why working with a licensed medical provider, working with a physician, a nurse practitioner who's licensed and trained in peptide therapy, or a physician assistant. These are really important people to have in your corner. I am the longevity coach. I work with my entire medical team on every case that comes into the office, but at the end of the day, they're the ones making the call based on what is necessary for your biology. Now, this is really critical because the higher doses, over 20% of people had massive issues with nausea. It was like 43, 44%. Somewhere in the ballpark of 35 to 37% had issues with diarrhea. And then you have the issues with the skin, dysocinia. And what they found is the skin just had this real crazy sensations where people felt like their skin was crawling and it led to some people withdrawing from the study. But it was at the higher dose. And this is where, if you're trying to change from trizepatide to retitrutide, once again, um, you can overdose yourself with water if you drink too much. And you can lose all the electrolytes, crush your blood pressure. But it's the same thing with any of these structures, these beautiful peptides, supplements, any kind of small molecule drugs. If you go down in, in dosing, you know, the nine milligram had fewer side effects, but the results weren't quite as robust. But man, the go slow. The low and slow is the way to go. But with this trizepatide and retitrutide, once retitrutide's on the market and you get ready to transition over, make sure you got a team there that understands the mechanism so that you don't overexpress that GLP-1 and GIP pathway by overdoing it because you could really put yourself in danger. Uh, gastroparesis is one of the things that can happen where your stomach just stops moving food. It doesn't end well. And so like anything, you wanna make sure that you are fully informed. You have the right, even if Eli Lilly is uh, producing this, they're the manufacturer. You have the right to get out of the medical complex, which is what I see as a conveyor belt. It's just a conveyor belt where they want people on as high doses as possible for as long as possible because that's where the profits are. The reimbursement rates are better, they get paid more. But if you can get on with a medical provider who's using a licensed 503A or 503B pharmacy, and yes, these are just as scrutinized, we have as high of standards in our pharmacies as the pharmaceutical companies do, but the difference in these 503 compounding facilities is it creates this beautiful axis where you can work with uh, a medical team, med a prescribing provider. You can work with a compounding pharmacy who will make unique structures based on your physiology and your biology. You can bypass these research use only uh, peptide facilities so that you know you're getting it from a resource. The clean rooms are, and I've seen them, it is very sterile. These uh, ISO 7 down to ISO 5, down to ISO 4 in the hood, this is real. These are compounding pharmacies that get regulated the same way. And, but you can do it in a safer way by working with a medical team who understands the brilliance and the beauty of personalization. So when you're going to switch over, once Red True Tide's on the market, go to agelessfuture.com. The first thing that you'll do is you're going to get your blood work ran. And we run over 150 different markers. We look at gut testing. We look at your metabolic pathways through urine. We also look for mold exposures, anything that could interfere with your future. And then our whole treatment strategy is based on optimizing your brain, optimizing your muscle, optimizing your cardiovascular system, because I want you to have the best future possible. I want you to feel, look, and perform your best and get to that future you as quickly as possible without risking any future health. And so that's what our team does. 
We do it better than anyone I know of. And I appreciate you being on the show. I'm Reagan Archibald. And if you love this, make sure you share it with a friend and I'll see you on the next video.